Annyeong! I'm Miss Sook from the Miller branch. Can you guess what Annyeong means? If you guessed hi, you're right. Annyeong is a very casual way to say hi in Korean. And I'm going to share more Korean words with you later on. For now, we're going to sing the Hello Friends song in sign language, which is another wonderful language to learn. Ready for hello, you're going to salute for friends. Get your two pointer fingers out. You can hug this way and this way. For time, point to your wrist. For say, touch your chin and pull out a little bit. Can you join me? Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. So, today's class theme is related to all these great books like The Tortoise and the Hare by Jerry Pink Pinkney and The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Weiss Brown and our beloved Peter Rabbit that Beatrice Potter came up with. So, can you guess what all these have in common besides the fact that you can check them out from our library? If you said they all have to do with the hoppy family of animals that have long ears, you're right. And I want to introduce you next to our rescued bunny. So this is our special guest, Peter Bunny. I know the name's not very original, but he wanted Peter because he thought he might be famous like his British buddy, Peter Rabbit. Okay, since I'm gonna say the word bunny a lot, let's spell out the word bunny and sing a song called Bunny. Ready? So the first letter in the word bunny is, if you said B, you're right. And then the next letter is U. And then N. N. Right? And then another N. And then, oops, the last letter is Y. There. And that spells bunny. And we're going to spell the word bunny three times. And each time you say the letter, maybe you could hop. Okay? So, like, B U N N Y. All right, are you ready to sing with me? Okay. Oh, let me show you the words to it. There's a long eared cutie that hops a lot, and Bunny is its name o. And remember to hop for each letter B U N N Y. And we're going to spell it three times. There's a long-eared kitty that hops a lot and bunny is its name -o. B U N N Y B U N N Y B U N N Y and bunny is its name -o. And let's sing it sort of faster now. There's a long-eared kitty that hops a lot and bunny is its name. Since Peter Bunny wants to be so famous, I have a story about him to share with you next. Our Bunny Story by me, Miss Sook. This is Peter Bunny, PB for short. PB was rescued from our pool. First, we only had some remnants of his destroyed burrow. However, he preferred A's hair. Until we built PB a grand home that was mobile with an edible front yard, a drinking pool, even a guard cat. Every morning, PB washes his face. Wash, 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 wash. Then he does some bunny yoga. 
TV enjoys our company the rest of the day. But more than just chilling with us, Phoebe loves to eat and eat, eat, eat. His story should have been titled Peter the Eater. He is especially bananas for bananas. Can you see it in his eyes? After eating, he is the Energizer Bunny! And he plays! 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 He be so fun and funny! But not when he thinks my finger is food! Ow. But then he's sorry. I just love Peter Bunny. The end. Since Peter Bunny's favorite treat is bananas, his favorite song also is Go Bananas. So I'm going to teach you that song. We're going to first form the banana, form, form the banana. Then we're going to pick the bananas, pick, pick the bananas. Then we're going to peel the bananas, peel, peel the bananas, and then eat the bananas, eat, eat the bananas, and then go bananas. All right, now let's do the full song. Ready? Form bananas, form, form bananas, form bananas, form, form bananas, pick bananas, pick, pick bananas, pick bananas, pick, pick bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas, yay! So even though Peter Bunny goes bananas over bananas, we only give it to him as a special treat. Instead, we provide him with lots of green leaves for him to eat. And these are all from our backyard. And can you guess which one of these is his favorite? Is it the arugula leaves or the clover leaves or the dandelion leaves? Hmm, which one? If you guessed dandelion leaves, you're right. That's his favorite. So we're going to play another guessing game. So besides Peter Bunny that we rescued from our backyard, where do you think I've seen the most number of bunnies? And I'm going to show you clips from four different lake areas around here. And I'm going to share the answer with you at the end of this class. I just saw a bunny, but is Centennial Park the place where I've seen the most number of bunnies? I'm at Wild Lake, one of my favorite places to walk and sit and relax. But do you think Wild Lake is where I've seen the most number of bunnies? I also enjoy walking around Columbia Lake, or the actual name is Lake Kitamakundi. Do you think as I walk, I see the most bunnies around here? So I am now at Lake Elkhorn, another great place to walk or rollerblade, bicycle, and see wildlife. So do you think Lake Elkhorn is where I've seen the most number of bunnies? Out of those four places, where do you think I've seen the most bunnies? Again, the answer will be given at the end of this class. Now I'm going to teach you a famous Korean children's song called Mountain Rabbit. And hopefully you'll learn some Korean words from this song. Okay, so here are the words to it. And it's going to be written in Korean on the top and the English meaning on the bottom. So it's Tan Toki Tokiya, which means mountain bunny, bunny. Odider Kananya. And that means where are you going? And this says, Kangchung, Kangchung, 
쉬면서, which is hopping, hopping as you're running. 어디를 가느냐? Where are you going? Now let's pretend that this little hill is a great big mountain. And I'm going to pretend that I am a rabbit. And you can use your hands like this and pretend along with me that you're a mountain rabbit. Or in Korean, remember that mountain is san and rabbit is toki. Now, if you can sing along with me, that'll be great. Are you ready? Here we go. San toki toki ya. Adider kanunya. Gang jing gang jing dimyansa. Adider kanunya. Yay! Great job! Did you enjoy learning some Korean words? I hope so, because learning another language is so good for your brain. You'll get better at problem solving and be more creative and even appreciate other cultures. And Howard County Library System offers so many materials that you can borrow and e-content from our website to help you learn a new language. One of my favorite is Unite for Literacy, where you could listen to it not only in English, but in so many different languages. So I hope you can try that out. I also want to share a craft with you that you can do at home and I'll share the link at the end. And this craft, you use toilet paper rolls and you can make a bunny like this or a little bunny like this where you poke out two fingers to make the bunny's ears. And I'm actually gonna use this bunny for the next song. So this is Little Bunny Foo Foo and the song it's called Little Bunny Foo Foo, which is a famous nursery rhyme song. And the words to it goes, Little Bunny Foo Foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. And then along comes a good fairy and says, Little Bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. And then she starts off with three chances, then two, then one, then zero. Right. Maybe if you know the tune, it's to Alouette, you can sing along with me and you can hop along. Ready? Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Along comes a good fairy and says, little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. You have three chances to behave or I will turn you into a good if you don't. But the very next day, little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Along comes a good fairy and says, little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Now you have two more chances to behave or I will turn you into a goon. But the very next day, little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Along comes the good fairy, now more frustrated. Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Now you only have one more chance to behave or I will turn you into a goon. But guess what? Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. The completely upset fairy now comes down for the last time. Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you. I never want to see you. Scooping up the field mouse and bopping them on the head. Now, you will be turned into a goon. But I don't have the special effects to do that, so I'll just share the moral of the story. Hair today, goon tomorrow. So now it's time for me to say annyeong. But you're probably thinking, annyeong means hi in Korean. Well, annyeong is also bye in Korean, just like aloha is hi and bye in Hawaiian. And let's sing our goodbye song in sign language. So goodbye, you wave your hand for friends. You do this again for time. Touch your wrist for say. Touch your chin and pull out. Ready? Goodbye, friends. <clears throat> goodbye, friends. Goodbye. 
goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And hopefully you can go outside and see some bunnies yourself. All right, bye, friends. Annyeong. And here's the answer you've been waiting for. I've seen the most bunnies around Lake Kiramakwandi. Happy trails.